Right, yeah, the Nutbush City Limits by Ike and Tina Turner with this really cool guitar riff in it. And what is happening is their power chords on the A string, so A power chords, using the open A string and then notes on the D string. And you have this movement on the D string going 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, 4, 2, 4. At the same time, you're playing the open A string. So these are using A power chords. And the first one is the A5. So that's the open A string and the second fret of the D string. And then it goes to the A6, which is the open A string and the fourth fret of the D string. And then does that again, the A5 to the A6. Now the first A5 is a short note, and the second one's a longer one. And then for the next part, the movement on the D string is 5, 4, 2, 4. When it's played with the open A string, it's an A7 power chord. So the 0 on the A string, 5 on the D string. To the A6, so you're going to the 4th fret of the D string, the A5, which is the 2nd fret of the D string, back to the A6, which is the 4th fret of the D string, all the while playing the open A string. When you put it together, you end up with the... Into the section, we're using the third fret of the A string with this rhythm. So it's the three, 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 and then up to the third fret of the E string with that same rhythm. You could choose to play that with power chords as well if you wanted to. So from that section, and then it would go back into that cool riff that we're doing at the start. And that is how you play the Nutbush City Limits by Ike and Tina Turner.